today I want us to look at another topic. You, I know you have um, these streams here, but today you're going to learn something uh, different, which is going to be of great advantage to you. Uh, streams is what we are going to be looking at today. Uh, streams is like when you're taking your conversation a little bit or temporarily out of your email interface to an interface that looks like a Facebook or Twitter account that you have. Okay, so let's dig in to see what I'm actually talking about. Okay, so let me click on this email here. Okay, uh, this sender sent an email to uh, these two people what had all these other persons, all these other emails in the loop. Okay, but looking at these other people in the loop, I found out that uh, there's someone still missing that is, not, that is not in the loop of this email, which is this person. So, what do we regularly do? We have to forward this email to this uh, email address so that this person can be in the loop and can act appropriately. Okay, so instead of doing this the old traditional way, there is a better way to actually continue this conversation, okay, or to share this conversation with other people that are not in the loop, that are not uh, in copy, uh, or you just want to discuss something just between the two of you. So instead of you using uh, coming to this place uh, where you forward this email to someone else, okay, what you need to do is you scroll down to this uh, open field. I have this place order where it says at mention a user or group to share this conversation. What does it mean? It means that uh, you can uh, type um, at button. Okay, I said type. You can just pick at on your keyboard. Okay, at mention. Okay, I'm sorry. Type in this name. You can see the name comes up. If there's someone else I want to uh, mention that is not here, I can just add mention again. Uh, for instance, who do I want to share this with? Let me say, okay, and the name comes up. You pick and you begin to type your conversation. Uh, please let's uh, let's discuss the way forward. It's just an example, okay. And you share this, okay. Once you share this, these two people are going to see this email conversation, okay. And uh, you can include others in this conversation if you want to, okay. You can include others in this conversation that these people here you can include them if you want to. Yeah, you can attach a file if you have a file you want to attach, you want them to see. From your work drive, uh, you can preview it. You can uh, mark down for help. You can refuse people from sharing or inviting others. Like these people that have added, these two people that have added now here, I can refuse them to invite other people to this conversation by clicking on this. Okay. Uh, so these are other things you can do. You can add notes to it. You can uh, take this as a task that you created before you want to add this to the task and you can add your emoji to it okay just click on share and once you share it they are all going to see it, either as a notification either on their phone or on their email address on their email on the desktop sorry once they come to their email desktop they click on this notification here and they will see all the uh okay for instance look at mine these are the uh, this is one of the streams conversation notification I got, okay, from this sender. Okay, this is another one since January 16th. This is January 38th around this time. Okay, so you come to this notification and you see your uh, uh, notifications from streams, okay, and other uh, events you created, either task or calendar or notes or anything. You Try to use this notification uh, very well. Okay, so that's how to share it. I'm not going to share this because it's just an example. Okay, but let me show you what we, uh, what I've shared with people and people that have shared with me. So let me close this now and come to streams under home. You will see 
uh, streams to me. That is streams that were uh, um, I mean conversations that were streamed to me. Okay, this person streamed this conversation uh, to me, having this attachment, and said, "Let's discuss this email." And I said, "Okay, send." This is from me, and I just send uh, the invoice for uh, Kendi, and that's it. I I can see the streams that have been invited into. I can see the streams that have been mentioned into. I can see favorite streams. I can see streams uh, by me. That is the one I created or I shared with people. Okay, look at the ones I initiated to uh, to other people from this person's email okay this is the body of the email i can open it up to see um, the conversation i mean to see the email itself the original uh email okay and you can see our uh, comments okay this is streams that we share between each other without this person knowing without the originator of the email knowing anything Okay, this is another stream that I uh, streamed with someone else. Okay, uh, having this person and this person uh, shared conversation with them. Okay, this is another one. Okay, so this is how streams work. It's like you taking your conversation a little bit out of your uh, email, but it's still within email. You're sharing your email, but instead of you using forward to um, it to a new person to an to a new email address or to well, because you want uh, to share uh, information you want to have a second thought or, or any conversation you want to have on that particular email that was sent to you instead of you using forward to that person it's a smart thing to use as streams streams helps you to reduce the clutter email when you forward and the Forwarded message is being replied to on the same topic, it becomes uh, cluttered. And when you want to reply at times, you may not know, you may inadvertently or by mistake send all the background conversation you had and you actually forward it. Or when you are replying, you may send it to the originator of email. Okay, but streams will help you to streamline that background conversation such that. It is only those you shared, you shared with, shared conversation with, your back and forth background uh, conversation will not be attached to an email when you are uh, replying the sender of the email. Okay, I hope this makes sense. If you actually want to enjoy or understand what I'm saying, you need to uh, take advantage of this. You need to start using it. Okay, and you need to have the mobile app on uh, downloaded on your phone if you don't want to download on your phone you already have it on your phone uh, app where that is zoho mail and calendar app that you have on your phone you will see streams there okay so guys this is what i would like to share with you today i hope you benefit from it and i hope you begin to improve communication within the organization using streams okay. it's actually a smart way and uh, to improve communication and speed up uh, perform for performance at work okay thank you guys uh, please continue to watch more videos and uh, suggest areas you want me to improve the video or whatever the app you want me to talk about so i can develop another i can create another uh, video like this and we can share and can continue to learn and grow. Okay, thank you. Bye for now.